this is a summary about the probability distribution for machine learning. Uh, in these tutorials, we have covered uh, some topics about introduction to probability uh, distribution for machine learning and uh, about uh, random variables and calculating random variables, especially uh, uh, represent the outcome of die rolling uh, using Python and the types of random variables. We've seen that discrete and continuous random variables and uh, continuous random variable and uh, also calculating the probability of uh, binomial distributions using uh, probability mass function pro uh, in Python. And we, we, we've uh, seen about the visualization in, and calculating the probability over a range using probability mass function as well. Uh, we also, uh, calculate a cumulative distribution function, the probability uh, uh, instead of uh, probability mass function, we drive the cumulative distribution function from probability ma mass function and calculating the probability of uh, discrete random variable. And uh, uh, the last top in, uh, topic we've discussed about uh, probability distribution is probability density functions. We also discussed this and calculated the probability of continuous random variable, not discrete random variables. We use uh, uh, probability mass function for calculating uh, uh, discrete random variables, as well as uh, uh, we use uh, continuous, uh, I mean, uh, uh, probability density functions to calculate uh, continuous random variables. Because in this uh, probability distribution, there are two types of variables, random and discrete. Uh, I mean, uh, con uh, discrete and uh, random, uh, continuous random variables. Uh, and so uh, we have covered those topics uh, about uh, probability for machine learning, or I mean, uh, probability distribution for machine learning. And uh, we are going to uh, revise uh, all the topics and uh, we are going to practice and do some exercises. The first exercise about random uh, variables. Uh, let's from uh, two sided dice uh, just sampling five uh, number number of uh, sides is five and let's uh, calculate the result. Uh, from this we can uh, first of all let's import numpy numpy is a two dimensional array especially to calculate uh, uh, complex mathematical uh, computations. Turn result uh, could be numpy dot random and choice from this uh, we can randomly choose uh, five samples from twelve sided uh, uh, I mean uh, in the range of one sorty and we can sample uh, five and replace could be true. We can print this result. That is three, six, one, five. We are sampling five uh, from 12 sided uh, dice, rolling dice. So anytime uh, we run this, uh, the numbers are uh, uh, maybe different. Yeah. There is a chance of uh, repeatedly. Uh, uh, repeated numbers or four four there is a chance eight eight this is a chance of the nine nine seven so this is uh, sampling uh, method using python random uh, from numpy and uh, the second exercise is about the probability distribution uh, binomial distribution using probability mass function from this uh, we can calculate uh, find the probability of six heads from uh, because we are talking about the binomial the uh, possible outcomes are two, either failure or uh, failure or uh, success. So we are uh, sampling uh, six heads from 10 uh, pair coin flippers using binomial probability function. First, let's import uh, the scipy dot stats as stats. And let's calculate the probability of uh, using binomial uh, probability mass function. 
uh, the number of heads, the number of interests uh, is six and from 10 experiments or trials, the number, uh, the probability of success is uh, 0 0.5. Then we can print the result. So that is uh, 20%, 0 0.2% is, uh, that is probability of six heads from 10 flipping points. The second example is uh, find the probability of uh, between two uh, four heads. This is a range uh, uh, where calculating a range over uh, probability uh, distribution uh, in discrete random variables. So to calculate this, uh, we can uh, just use uh, mathematically probability, just sum up each uh, probability and we get this chart. The probability of uh, two from 10 flipping coins in the probability of success is 0 0.5 plus the probability of three from 10 flipping coins in the probability of success is 0 0.5 plus and the probability of four is from 10 flipping coin is 0 0.5 now we can print the result and you can see the uh, probability of between two four heads from 10 flipping points that is 36.6%. .6%. Well, 0 0.336 uh, is the probability between uh, two and uh, four heads. As the second question, you find probability uh, between zero to uh, eight heads. In this case, it is difficult to calculate uh, e, uh, the sum of each probability so from zero to eight heads. So in this case, the sum of uh, the probability of each uh, from uh, of uh, 10 flipping coin is one. So we can uh, subtract uh, nine and 10 from uh, the sum of nine and 10 from one and we get zero to eight. That, that's the uh, uh, simplest way. Uh, one minus the probability of The probability of nine from 10 flipping coins plus the probability of uh, 10. So we got the probability from zero to eight. That is 99, almost 99%, 99%. And the fourth uh, exercise, the fourth exercise is find the probability of six or fewer heads from 10 coin flips using binomial cumulative distribution function. Fewer heads in this case, uh, we do not use uh, probability mass function, but instead we use uh, cumulative distribution functions. So we can find the cumulative, uh, the average of uh, six and pure, that is zero to uh, six heads. So uh, uh, in this case, we can calculate uh, the cumulative uh, using the cumulative and we will see that uh, later on. And the probability of uh, zero to six heads or six or uh, pure heads from 10, Coin flippers is uh, using cumulative distribution function, 6, 10, 0 0.5. Then we can print. That is uh, 0.82 or 82.8%. Uh, that is a probability from zero to six or uh, six or fewer heads. Now uh, let's calculate uh, zero to eight or eight or fewer heads from 10 flip coin using cumulative uh, distribution function. And instead of uh, probability mass function, we can uh, calculate uh, using cumulative distribution and we should get the same result uh, using the probability mass function that part. Yes, 
it, it is the same result with this one. So uh, we can use uh, either mediative distribution or uh, probability mass function. So we can choose the simplest way to calculate uh, this kind of uh, problems. Okay, all right. And the second question, find probability more than six heads. What about uh, more than six heads? That is uh, uh, just, uh, we can subtract uh, the probability of six heads from 10 flipping coins uh, from one and we get uh, the probability of that. Uh, not because we do not include uh, six in this case. We, uh, we do not include six in this case. And one minus CD of six. We subtract this because six more than six means six is not included. So we uh, just subtract from zero to six, uh, the probability of zero to six from one, and we get the probability uh, above uh, six from 10 flipping coins. That is the, uh, uh, I mean, the uh, reason. Okay. That is zero point. Uh, so the probability from uh, greater than or more than six heads is zero point, not including uh, zero up to six uh, heads. Zero. Uh, that is, we subtract the probability from zero up to six heads from one, and you get this simplest way to calculate this kind of problem. Okay. The third question uh, is the probability of between four and uh, eight heads uh, from this. In this case, uh, four is not included. So we subtract uh, the range between this. In this case, uh, we can calculate the probability of 18. Uh, zero, um, 0 0.5 and subtract the probability of four. That is 61%, uh, 61%, almost 0 0.5. Uh, the probability is 0 0.61. And uh, the last exercise is the, uh, about the continuous random variable, we, uh, that is density, uh, pro probability density functions. The weather in Addis Ababa follows a normal distribution with a mean of 20 degrees Celsius and a standard deviation of three. So what is the probability of temperature being less than uh, 40 degrees Celsius? So this is simple. Uh, we can uh, just uh, less than uh, 40 degrees Celsius. We can calculate the probability starts dot normal distribution. And instead of binomial distribution, it is a normal distribution. CDF 40, 20, 20 is the probability and the standard deviation is three. That is 0 0.022 uh, probability. And the second question is uh, if uh, being greater than 24 degrees Celsius, so what, what is the probability of temperature being greater than uh, 24 degrees Celsius? We subtract one from uh, this and uh, 24 uh, degrees Celsius uh, from zero to 24 degrees Celsius is not uh, included in this case. Uh, okay, the probability uh, could be one minus the probability of twenty four for twenty uh, degrees Celsius in standard deviation is three. That is the probability could be uh, zero point zero nine. And the third question is, what is the probability of temperature between 21 and 2? This is simple. We can subtract 
the probability of 25, uh, 21 from 25, and you get the probability in between uh, 21 and 24, uh, 5. And we subtract the probability of 21. That is 32 percent. Okay, all right. This is a summary about the probability distribution function for machine learning. If you want to learn uh, all uh, these uh, tutorials uh, through uh, uh, live session or using uh, Zoom, so you can contact me on uh, Telegram or you can put a message on uh, YouTube in, in the comment box of uh, this video. Thanks for watching.